Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you what I was able to create with the things that I had in my craft room. So let's go ahead and get started. DIY number one. I saw this beautiful art mirror um, and I knew I could create it. So I decided to go ahead and get a mirror that I had on hand. This one is a little bit smaller uh, from the one from the Dollar Tree, but you can really use any one that you have. This is the leftover of the um, Barbie castle that I um, redid recently for my daughter. I can link that video down in the description box. So I am just marking down um, to create the same shape as the shape of the mirror. And uh, I am just tracing. After that, I am going outside and I am using my jigsaw to cut everything out. And after that, I will just sand it with my uh, palm sander. Now, the size of this is not uh, really big, but like I said, if you have a larger mirror, you can make it as big as you want. Now, this is what I was left with. There was that hole, but I'm going to be using uh, wooden uh, bamboo skewers. And I will uh, put a few of them next to each other, fill that hole up adding a little bit of wood glue and then I will add this uh, wood filler after it was dry I'm sanding it off and then I will um, go ahead and take this uh, white Adirondack chalk paint by Falkart and I will paint uh, this whole thing I'm a Falkart um, ambassador and um, if you want to order any of these products I'm going to have them linked in the description box alrighty after it was dried I'm taking Mata Sewer chalk paint in a color gray and chippy brush from the Dollar Tree and I will just distress it uh, going in an upwards uh, or actually up and down motion uh, create a kind of a wood grain but again this can be uh, in any color that you have or you can just leave a, a raw wood and I'm just attaching the mirror on top with a hot glue. And that's going to be it for this project. Super simple, super easy, very inexpensive. And I think it looks beautiful. What do you guys think? This video is part of our monthly uh, collab. This one is Craft Your Stash collab. And all these wonderful ladies participate every single month. And I'm so happy to work with them. They're all extremely talented and such a sweet friend. Um, the host of this uh, collaboration always is Liana over at Liana DIY. We have two guest hosts for this month. One is Aranda over at the Distressed Princess DIY and the other one is Mimi over at uh, Crafting in Mimi's World. All the other friends that are playing along are um, all things Tonya, Crafting My Best Life with Lisa Marie, uh, myself, Lisa Birmingham, uh, Laurie Bly DIY, Artsy Cupcake DIY with Ember, Daisy DIY, Farm Charm Chic, and Lovely Moments Creating. They're all very talented. I'm going to uh, link their channels in the description box as well as the playlist so you can go ahead and check out and see what they created with their stash of crafting supplies. Now let's go ahead and start with DIY number two. For this project, I'm going to be using this wood block that I got from the Dollar Tree, actually wood cube from the Dollar Tree. As you can see, I already used it in a previous project. So I'm going to be uh, combining these two paints, a black acrylic and chalk white paint to get the similar gray color that was already in on here. And I will paint it uh, all over of the outside. After that, I will dry it with the heat gun. And when everything was nice and dry, I'm going to go ahead and put that aside and then I will take uh, these two hoops. They are um, rings. It's not really, I don't even know what is it from, but they're full uh, wooden rings. So I'm going to be painting them with this black acrylic paint. I gave them only one good coat and that was just enough to cover everything completely. After that, of course, I will dry it and it will be ready to assemble. So what I'm going to do is just um, put them just like so to crisscross to create kind of an orb. And I will uh, add a little bit of hot glue where they meet on one side. And then I will do the same thing on the other side, making sure while the glue is still a little bit warm to push them to the position that I need so they can fit on this cube. And after that, I will just attach with the hot glue where uh, these rings meet the cube. And that's going to be it for this project. I love it. I think it looks so high end, so beautiful. But guys, it cost me 
nothing. I had already everything on hand. Tell me what you think about this one. Okay, friends, let me introduce you to my new best friend. Her name is Lucy. Not only that she's beautiful, she's so elegant, always wears black with the gold details, but she's also a great housekeeper. She cleans and mops perfectly. All jokes to the side, I want to introduce you to my new robot vacuum cleaner, Trifo Lucy Ultra. This vacuum cleaner is a robot vacuum cleaner. It runs through the app. This is a tri Trifo Home app. Um, through that, you can control uh, everything she does. You can see over here, I can start uh, cleaning. She goes, does her job, and after that, I can ask her to uh, go back by clicking the button. And there she is returning to the charging station. Lucy has object recognition and avoidance of small objects like toys, slippers, socks, and stuff like that. You can see over here how easily she can avoid it and you will not have any problem if there is anything laying around. Also, she can avoid cords like this one laying over here. She can transition very easily from carpet to hardwood and opposite. No problem whatsoever. When Lucy is done cleaning or she runs out of battery, she goes back to the char charging station herself. Charging. Lucy has very powerful uh, suction. As you can see over here, these crumbs were just gone in a few steps. And this is only on the lowest setting. She is also equipped with a 1080p HDR color camera that can show you in a real time where she goes and what she cleans and also it can uh, present a security feature. When you open the top lid, that's where you're going to find a water and a dust bin. I'm going to show you now how easy to open the filter and clean out your dust bin. Look how much she picked up and my house looked pretty clean. Now putting it back, super easy, just click it back in. On the bottom, there is um, two attachments. One is uh, with a roller brush and the other one is with a rubber brush. Also, there's attachment over here that is for mopping. You just simply attach it, put a mop on, and it clicks out just with a little push on the side, side button. Over here in this compartment is where you put the water for mopping and there she is doing the wet mopping. I absolutely, absolutely love it. In a package, I also received the laser pointer for your pets to entertain them while Lucy is working and also with air refresheners. In the app under the map management, you can find a section where you can uh, click out certain zones that are no-go zones so Lucy don't go and clean over there. These are all the other options that uh, are in a more feature section of the app that you can use and set up your uh, robot vacuum cleaner the way you want it. Beside all these features that I mentioned, there's also um, compatibility with Alexa and Google Assistant, which is so convenient. This machine uh, has a learning capability, which means the more she cleans, the more she learns about your space and she will clean it more effectively. She has a smart decision making avoidance of certain objects. The runtime is 120 minutes. She has a powerful section of 4000 Pascals, which is way more than any other robot cleaner out there. There's also a night vision microphone and a speaker. Those are just some of the features of this amazing robot vacuum cleaner. These are all the things that come with Lucy Ultra in a package. And if you decide to go ahead and buy it, now is the time to do it. Look at a drop in a price, 50% off. This is definitely worth it. Trust me. You can go to trifolucy.com and see everything for yourself and decide what is the best for you.
I'm going to have this linked in the description box as well. So you can click the link and it will take you straight over there. I want to thank Trifle for partnering with me and sending me this amazing robot vacuum cleaner that I love so much. Okay, DIY number three. I'm going to be using this um, steel cut oats container. I will peel off the um, wrapper <laughs> around because I want only to be left with the cardboard. After that, I'm taking utility knife or actually box cutter and I will cut it a little bit more than um, half. But really, this is a personal preference. After that, I will make sure everything is nice and smooth. And uh, then I will take a hot glue uh, gun and I will just start uh, pouring the hot glue in um, up and down motion, but not, um, you know, completely up and down. I stopped in the middle, as you can see over here, just creating squiggly lines. Um, and I will leave that to dry. After that was completely dried, this is how it looks like. And then I will take the white chalk, uh, Adirondack white chalk paint and this milk paint, uh, both by Falkart, and I will mix them together to get that off white color or actually off tan color. And I will paint this um, container. So um, after I painted it and I was happy with the coverage, I left it to dry and I will also go ahead and paint everything inside. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to take uh, the white chalk paint that you saw earlier and then I will take um, just a brush that I used earlier and I will lightly dry brush it and uh, that means that white paint will just go mostly on this raised surface and this is how it looks like. Now I'm taking the gray paint that I used in my previous project and I will just go over the top rim and the bottom rim. I went a little bit in between um, this um, hot glue design just wherever I thought it was necessary, but mostly I went on the top and the bottom rim. Next, I decided to also do this uh, inner part of the bottom rim, as you can see what I'm doing. Left that to dry and this is how it looks like. I'm going to put that aside right now and then I will go ahead and get um, these three uh, tails from the wooden snakes toys from the Dollar Tree. I used them in one of my previous projects and I will reuse it in uh, next project. So what I'm going to do, I will cut off uh, that part to be left with only that pointy part, uh, full wood part, and I will uh, straightening out with the box cutter, actually make it a little slanted. All three of them are done. And then after that, I will send it a little bit so it's not sharp and it's nice and smooth. So when I was done sanding, I went ahead and gotten that same black chalk, black um, acrylic paint that I used earlier and I just painted them uh, completely. Then I dried them and then after they were dry, here they are. Now it's time to assemble these legs. Um, I'm going to put them just spaced out. I didn't measure anything, just eyeballed it and I will use hot glue to attach all of them. And that's going to be it for this project. This was very, very simple, as you can see, but I really like added detail um, that the hot glue gives. I've, I've seen uh, some of the YouTubers doing this, so I wanted to try, and I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Tell me your thoughts down below. If you're new to my channel, if you're coming from the playlist, welcome. Um, I'm so glad you guys are here. On my channel, you can see a lot of budget-friendly DIYs, decor ideas, thrift flips, and there will be some home improvement DIYs. There was already some in the um, past, but we will do some more, my husband and I, and I want to share all that with you guys. If something like that interests you, I would invite you to stick around, like this video and my other videos, as that helps my channel getting promoted on YouTube and means so much to me as well. Also, uh, stick around by subscribing to my channel and clicking that red button and notification bell on so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Come and say hi if you're uh, one of the, on one of those. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the last project. I wouldn't even call it DIY. Just wanted to show you that um, these are those snakes from the Dollar Tree. I cut off the head and a tail 
and uh, I will just go ahead and um, attach beginning and the end to create a circle on the first one using a hot glue and then after that I will chill, chain link um, the other two. I've seen somebody did it. I believe it was Miguel over at Miguelito's DIY, but I'm not completely sure. Somebody did similar to this or maybe even the same, but I always wanted to do it and I had this on hand. So I decided to share this with you guys. And that's it. You can stain this, you can paint it if you want, but I decided to leave it as it is. I think it's beautiful. I want to hear what you guys think. And please tell me in the comments down below which one was your favorite. One, two, three or four. Would you recreate it? Don't forget to go ahead and check out my description box to see the playlist and see what everybody else created. Also check out Trifle Lucy Ultra Vacuum Cleaner. Um, like this video if you like it, uh, subscribe if you're new and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!